Messiah. But now in the New Testament era, Paul isn't saying that God referred to Jews in the Old Testament, but now in the New Testament, he refers Gentiles. What he's saying is that circumcision has nothing to do with our salvation. What he's saying is that works have nothing to do with our salvation. I find it particularly interesting how many people don't get this. As I walk around the neighborhoods and I talk to people, you find a lot of people that say, oh yeah, you're from Emmanuel. You guys are that strict church. And as they explain themselves, they mean to say that they don't agree with how we don't let women vote in our congregation. Or they tell me that they think that we're just too strict doctrine. And that we're just too dogmatic. But the problem is, is that we're actually the free ones. We're not strict at all. While we preach freedom, complete freedom, in Christ and Him alone, others preach Christ plus works. Or worse yet, they take Christ completely out of the equation and preach works alone. In either case, where we can offer sure hope and forgiveness for sinners, they cause people to doubt. Because they mix in works and they cause people to trust in themselves. And at best, they can be only uncertain about the future. As Paul defends the one true faith, though, he doesn't throw the baby out of the battle. He keeps preaching against the law for salvation. See, there's nothing wrong with the law. But the problem is that when we as sinners try and follow that law for our own salvation. But Paul does say that the law has a purpose in our lives. As reborn Christians, we can look to God's law as a way to thank God for what He's done for us. God has been so gracious and so wonderful to us that we want to just give a big hug and say thank you. As we follow the law, that's one way we can, we can say thank you to God by doing what He wants. It's not to repay God. It's not to give back to Him. You, know, you can't just put $100 in the offering plate and think that that's going to repay God for the precious blood of His Son. But we do these things out of love because Christ first loved us. What a blessing we have in our Lutheran heritage. What a blessing we have through the gospel. And specifically today, we celebrate how the reformers in Martin Luther's day brought that true gospel back to the people. And what a blessing God has given us through them. Because of them, Today, we can say that on Christ, 